Cox Communications is a privately owned subsidiary of Cox Enterprises providing digital cable television, telecommunications and wireless services in the United States. It is the third largest cable television provider in the United States, serving more than 6.2 million customers, including 2.9 million digital cable subscribers, 3.5 million Internet subscribers, and almost 3.2 million digital telephone subscribers, making it the seventh largest telephone carrier in the country. Cox is headquartered at 1400 Lake Huron Drive in Sandy Springs, Georgia, U.S., in the Atlanta metropolitan area. History Cox Enterprises expanded into the cable television industry in 1962 by purchasing a number of cable systems in Lewistown, Lock Haven and Tyrone, followed by systems in California, Oregon and Washington. The subsidiary company, Cox Broadcasting Corporation, was not officially formed until 1964, when it was established as a public company traded on the New York Stock Exchange. It was taken private by Cox Enterprises in 1985. In 1993, Cox began offering telecommunications services to businesses. This eventually grew into Cox Business, which now represents $1 billion in annual revenue. In 1995, Cox acquired Times Mirror's cable properties. In 1997, Cox became the first multiple system cable operator to offer phone services to customers following the 1996 Telecom Act. In 1999, Cox acquired the cable television assets of Media General in Fairfax County and Fredericksburg, Virginia. In 2000, Cox Communications acquired Multimedia Cable Vision with assets in Kansas, Oklahoma and North Carolina. In 2004, the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors found Cox Communications guilty of violating an agreement with the county which stated that all homes served by Cox within Fairfax County would be digital ready with a new fiber optic network by June 2003. When this term expired with less than 30% of the county having been completed, the Board of Supervisors elected to fine Cox $100 per day from the originally agreed completion date, until such time as the work was completed which was in January 2006. The board also forbade Cox from raising rates to recover the cost of the fine for a period of 10 years from the actual completion date. The total fine was approximately $93,000. On November 1, 2005, Cox announced the sale of all of its Texas, Missouri, Mississippi and North Carolina properties, as well as some systems in Arkansas, California. Louisiana and Oklahoma to Kebridge Communications. The sale closed in 2006 and those systems were transitioned by their new owner from Cox Branding to Sodlink Communications. On May 14, 2007, Cox announced that they had sold their investment in Discovery Communications for the Travel Channel, related assets, and $1.3 billion. In 2007, Diversity Incorporated magazine named Cox Communications No. 25 in its top 50 companies for diversity. Cox climbed to the sixth position on Diversity Incorporated's 2008 list. Also in 2008, Cox was named No. 8 on the top 10 companies for African Americans. On November 19, 2010, Cox began offering unbelievably fair wireless services in Orange County, California. Omaha, Nebraska. And, in Hampton Roads, Virginia. In February 2011, Cox Communications completed its alternative energy project which included two fuel cell installations at each of the Campania Euro unregistered trademark S. San Diego, California and Rancho Santa Margarita, California headquarters. Two separate pure cell system 400 kW installations will generate enough on-site power to reduce the Campania Euro unregistered trademark S dependence of the local power grid and decrease its carbon footprint. In September 2011, Cox Home Security was added to their suite of products listed on their website. This new service utilizes advanced technologies similar to the home security products offered by other MSOs such as Comcast. In August. 2013, Cox launched their Contour TV product and completed rollout early September, 2013. The product integrates HD DVR, TV, 
iPad, and extra room set-top boxes that utilize user profiles to suggest viewing recommendations. Other business units Cox Business, provides business-level video, voice and internet services. Cox Media, advertising sales, travel media, incorporated travel channel and travelchannel.com. Privatization, in 2004. Cox Enterprises announced its intention to purchase those shares of Cox Communications which it did not already own. A $6.6 .6 billion tender offer was completed in December of that year, and Cox Communications has been a wholly owned subsidiary ever since. This was the second time Cox Communications was taken private by Cox Enterprises. Residential Services, Cox Cable TV Cox distributes standard definition and high definition cable television programming, including digital cable. Cox has no plans to discontinue an analog level of service as part of the digital transition. Cox launched digital cable on its Orange County system in 1997. In February 2008, Cox started to implement switch digital video technology in some of their markets. Digital Video Recorder Cox offers digital video recorder service, provided using Motorola, Scientific Atlanta, Cisco, or Moxie equipment depending on the local market. On demand, Cox offers video on demand service in the majority of its markets under the name On Demand. On Demand offerings are fairly standardized, portal based, carry vodnets like the Ski Channel, and in some markets include high definition television. Cox offers replays of ABC and NBC programming in some markets while Comcast offerings include BBC America and CBS. Cox High Speed Internet As of 2013, Cox offers cable internet service to over 21.8 million people across 18 states, making it the fourth largest provider of cable internet service in the U.S. Cox offers four levels of high speed internet in all of its markets, starter, essential, preferred and Premier. Some Cox markets also offer an ultimate speed tier with download speeds up to 150 Mbps. Cox initially launched high-speed Internet in 1996 in its Orange County infrastructure. Cox licensed the Power Boost technology from Comcast in 2007 and offers it on the preferred and Premier levels of service. Top service download speeds are between 50 and 150 Mbps. Soft monthly bandwidth caps are listed for all four levels of service yet Cox currently does not penalize or charge customers for going beyond these limits. In 2011, the FCC released the Measuring Broadband America report where it was revealed that many broadband providers provided lower than advertised internet speeds to their consumers. Analysis of the report data showed that Cox Cable only delivered 83.4% of its advertised Internet speed to its customers. Cox High Speed Internet won the PC Magazine Reader's Choice Award for High Speed Internet in 2003, 2004, 2005, 2007, and 2011. Allegedly Cox will withhold access to the Internet by alleged pirates. It is possible for users who have not committed a legal activity to be disconnected from the Internet because of an unverified claim or insecure network, and Cox does not personally investigate the accuracy of these claims before shutting down service. Cox also blocks incoming traffic on port 80 for residential customers, making it difficult for them to run web servers. In September 2011, Cox announced the availability of a data usage meter for customers to check their data usage. As of October 2012, Cox does not charge customers who exceed their usage amount for each month. It is unknown if this policy will change in the future. In 2014, Cox announced they would begin offering 1 gbit s internet speeds under the name G1GA Blast in Phoenix, Las Vegas and Omaha with plans to begin offering it in the rest of their service areas by the end of 2016. They also announced that they would double Internet speeds for all customers at no cost at the same time. They began rolling out the new speeds in Phoenix in early October of the same year. Cox Digital Telephone Cox offers telephone service in the majority of its services areas. Various technologies, including circuit-switched and hybrid VoIP systems, are used depending on service areas. Cox has won multiple JD Power and Associates awards for its telephone service. 
Cox Business, Cox Business provides voice, data and video services for more than 260,000 small and regional businesses, including healthcare providers, K-12 and higher education, financial institutions and federal, state and local government organizations. According to Vertical Systems Group, Cox Business is the fourth largest provider of business Ethernet services in the U.S. based on customer ports and the company ranked highest among small and mid-sized business data service providers in J.D. Power & Associates telecommunications studies in 2006, 2008 and 2010. In 2013, Cox Business had the third largest business facing enterprise by revenue, with $1.2 billion in revenue as of the third quarter of 2013. Cox Business is an early adopter of voice over IP technology and, in 2007, Cox became the first cable provider in North America to deploy a fully owned and managed IP telephony service for businesses, Cox Business Voice Manager. Cox Business is expected to launch managed IP PBX, SIP trunking and IP-centric services in 2011, allowing customers to more efficiently route voice traffic over Internet protocol. Cox Business currently supports more than 800,000 business phone lines. Defunct Cox Wireless, Cox once offered mobile phone and wireless services in four United States markets including Orange County, California, Hampton Roads, Virginia, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and Omaha, Nebraska. Cox marketed their wireless service as unbelievably fair wireless due to a wireless plan which returns money for unused minutes called Money Back Minutes. This allowed customers to receive up to $20 per month added back to their bill in the event that customers had leftover minutes. Cox offered a full range of devices manufactured by Motorola, Samsung, HTC, Qsera, and LG. Cox utilized Sprint's voice and 3G networks and also had plans to build their own 4G LTE network. On May 24, 2011, Cox Communications announced it would decommission its plans to build a 3G wireless network, and would instead offer Sprint service to half of its current footprint and operate as a Sprint MVNO by the end of 2011. On November 15, 2011, Cox Communications announced it would halt sales of all its wireless branded products and existing Cox branded wireless operations would be decommissioned by March 30, 2012. Cox eventually also retracted its plans to continue to resell Sprint services as an MVNO. Carriage Controversies, 2000 Disputes with Fox On January 1, 2000, Cox was involved in a retransmission consent dispute with News Corporation, pulling four Fox-owned and operated stations, after retransmission consent talks between News Corporation and Cox broke down reportedly because Fox had denied permission for Cox to broadcast programming on its O-Windows stations unless Cox gave it two channel slots on its digital cable service. The affected stations were WJW-TV in Cleveland, Ohio, KTBC in Austin, Texas, KRIV in Houston, Texas and KDFW in Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas, off its cable systems in those areas. Another Fox window WHBQ TV in Memphis was also pulled from its Chinese Bora, Arkansas system. The removal of those stations, which were temporarily replaced with premium service stats, family blacked out Fox programming to 425,000 Cox customers. The blackout lasted six days as the two sides came to an agreement on January 6, and the Fox owned stations were brought back to the systems. Cox gave $1 refunds of their January cable bill to roughly 90,000 subscribers in Texas and Arkansas as compensation. Lynn TV Cox dispute, in a separate dispute that occurred around the same time, customers in Hampton Roads, Virginia lost access to Lynn TV owned Fox affiliate WVBT on January 1, 2000. Retransmission talks between WVBT and Cox broke down reportedly due to a demand by WVBT to be placed somewhere between channels 2 and 14. Cox refused to move WVBT to a lower channel number. The channel space was filled in the interim by pay channel HBO family. It was not until February 5 of that year that the station resumed on Cox's Hampton Roads system, after an agreement was reached during a 10-hour arbitration session. 
Cox did not offer rebates to its 335,000 subscribers in Fairfax County, Virginia, and Cleveland, Ohio, who also lost their Fox stations. Marketing One of Cox's marketing trademarks is a fictional animated spokesman character named Digital Max, used from 2005 through 2008. The phasing out of Digital Max in 2008 was followed by the introduction of the current Cox mascots, the Digis, little digital helpmates featured in many of Cox Communications brand commercials. The new little helpers, dressed in all white with blue goggles and hands, closely resemble the main character from the 1982 arcade game Dig Dug. Official sponsors, MLB, Arizona Diamondbacks, San Diego Padres, and FL, Arizona Cardinals, San Diego Chargers, NBA, Oklahoma City Thunder, Phoenix Suns, NHL, Arizona Coyotes, References External links, Official Website, Cox HSI and CATV Support Forum by Reports.com